Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is auto-rooting Android malware. In a blog post, Lookout Security described three new families of Android malware that have some pretty unique new characteristics. One of the primary new characteristics was if this malware gets on your Android device, it's going to try to leverage one of eight different local vulnerabilities to root your device. And it of course does this to establish some very strong persistence on your smartphone or device. It can place some files in certain locations so that even if you factory reset the device, the malware can actually regain its foothold. It can also hide much better so that uh, anti-malware programs can't find it as well, and it can do all kinds of secret tricks to steal your data. Now other than this, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot unique about this malware. It seems that the actors behind it are probably using some of the same code base even though they've created three different families. They seem to also be automatically taking apps that you can find in the Google Play Marketplace, copying them and adding this malware to those apps and then delivering them through third-party marketplaces. This means that this malware will come in some very legitimate applications. You may download a legitimate application and it may work just like that application is supposed to work. But if you've downloaded it from a third-party source, it could have this malware attached to it. The good news, of course, is this malware hasn't made its way into the Google Play Marketplace. So if you download only from that official source, you should be okay. Now some of the articles talk about this malware as though you can't uninstall it. That's simply not technically true. Now Lookout does say that normal users may not be able to install this easily, and they even recommend that you might want to get a new phone. I frankly disagree. This malware is pretty nefarious. It does put itself into certain directories and rewrite certain files so that normal factory resets will not get rid of it. How However, you can replace the ROM image of your Android device, and doing so will wipe out this malware. In any case, it's interesting to see how Android and mobile attackers are getting much more aggressive. They're stealing and trojanizing legitimate applications, they're using vulnerabilities to gain root on your device, and they're doing everything they can to bury into your mobile device and gain long-term persistence. So again, if you're an Android user, you definitely need to be aware of some of the security issues. The number one tip is stay Stay away from third-party marketplaces. Do not root your device if you can avoid it, and only download software from the official Google Play Marketplace. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.